Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Hearts of Iron for Death or Dishonor playing as Romania. My voice is getting shot a little bit, but we're almost done with this series. We are making our final pushes against Spain and it looks like they are starting to fall before me. Glorious. We are making some pushes against Japan and with the help of the UK and the USA, we're making, we're, we're getting really close to Tokyo. If you guys can get that, that would be awesome. Keep pushing against China and stuff, though. In the meantime, I've kind of stalled out a little bit. There's a bit of a problem, but... I don't know. We'll just have to redeploy our troops and keep trying. We'll get there eventually, though. We'll get there eventually. I'm amazed how many troops they're keeping here. 28? Yeah, my supplies are just completely falling apart here right now. That's my big problem. But at least we've joined up some land with the British Raj. I'm hopeful that, that means we can get a better supply route. Let's take a look. Yeah, we're completely out of supplies here. This is the problem. Um, too many divisions here, primarily. The route it is taking is all the way up to the north. Wow, that's a very roundabout way to get to me. But yeah, there's not much I can do about it. Maybe we can construct a bit more infrastructure. No, cannot in foreign territory. This is considered foreign territory? I've kind of occupied it. I guess. Alright. USA is establishing a pretty strong foothold here in the in uh, China. UK is doing that same thing. Where's Australia? They are making their push toward Beijing. That'll be good. United Kingdom is going through Manchuria. Yeah, it should only be a matter of time before we've got this down. My frame drops, by the way, just keep happening here. I don't know what's going on with that. Oof. It's because it's when I when I'm unpaused, the game is down to like. 10 frames per second. That's why it kind of looks janky as I move around. There's not a lot I can do about it right now, unfortunately. My settings are pretty much optimized, I think, the best I can. All right, let's push in toward Galicia. That'll be pretty nice. Portugal, I really wish you would be nice enough to join the Allies. That'd be nice. All right, we got improved rocket artillery. Good. Uh, do we want to upgrade the anti-tank? I don't think we need to at this point. Mechanized paratroopers? <laughs> Tempting. It is November of 1944. Hmm. Hmm. Excavation? I don't know. I'm looking for some, like, passive combat boosters right now, and I'm not seeing much. Debating going on to some of these things early. Like, better recon. We're point four year, one four years ahead of time. But maybe it's worth it. Hmm. Improve the anti-air a little bit? We don't really need that. I've been doing fine on air. I could go for mechanized too, but I'm kind of thinking it's too late in the game for us to do that. Let's go ahead and start working toward upgrading our recon. We're a little bit ahead of time, but hey, extra tactics that I can use against them will mean we can win these fights more decisively. Which I see as a good thing. Transport ships are done. Did you lose a couple divisions? You used to have more. Hang on. Let's deploy a couple with you again. There you go. All right. Cancel. Cancel that. Okay. Um. Yeah, there's nothing to land against uh, Spain anymore. See what I'm going to do with you? It's not a very good use of you, but we're going to delete your orders. We're just going to garrison. That's all we're going to do. Yep, we're just going to garrison some troops up here. It's not the best use of them, but honestly, I don't think I can really do much with these troops at this point. We can't really add them to the front line of Japan very easily. Um, and I can't use them against Spain, because we don't have any naval access for me to sneak attack them, so I think we're going to have to be fine there. So let's just go ahead and make sure that we are keeping all of this under control. Try to make sure that the supplies will flow, the spice must flow, as some might say. Okay, just hold all of it. Your primary goal is to put down any rebel rebellions. Minimum divisions, 22. Well, I have 24, so I think we're going to be A-OK. -okay. All right, new research. Could start researching some boats. Don't see a point. Let's go ahead and work toward the engineer companies. Make that even better. Uh, looks like we're starting to consolidate a little bit with our tank divisions. I'm going to delete your orders. Let's go ahead and create a new offensive line. I want you to push through China. If you can do that, that would be excellent. Good? Good. Alrighty. 
How are you doing? He's feeling relatively okay about his orders, but he's not pushing as aggressively as I think I would like. We no longer get the effects of fascism defeated. My national unity, surprisingly, goes down. <laughs> uh, why? Go here, go here, go here. Um, one of you go here. There you go. Japan is definitely on their back heel. Um, the United States has managed to join up some land here if they can just push back on Tokyo. They're trying to land a load of troops up against Tokyo right now, and it looks like they might even succeed. Japan's got nothing at this point. Oh, there we go. Look at Australia go. Nice. Just land a bit more. And if you can grab Tokyo... I don't know. Is Japan going to capitulate? We're getting kind of close. 79%. Um, maybe. Take Tokyo and Nagoya, and maybe they will. No nukes required. <laughs> oh, man. This is going well. Okay. Okay. Really wish that they would push a bit more aggressively everywhere else. The fall of Tokyo! I should have read that, shouldn't I? Oh, well. Uh, so that means that Japan is now 96% of the way towards capitulation. If we could just take one of these... Shizuoka or Nagoya, Na Nagoya, I don't know. One of those, one more victory point in proper Japan would probably be all it takes. And they'll be out. So yeah, United States, please work your magic. I don't know what Japan's doing though. United States is not defending some of this land. They could be pushing up against it, trying to take it back, but they're not. Doesn't that seem a little silly? I think it's a little bit silly. Let's see, we've already got Nagasaki. Uh, nationalist Spain has capitulated. Okay, so that's done and out of the way. Hokey smokes. Who else is involved in the war, then? It's just Japan. Just Japan and all of their puppets. We are now very close to the end. I don't think we have to worry about all of their puppets. Wait. Oh, I saw an hourglass for a second. I thought maybe that was it, but it was not. Okay. You know what? Push aggressively. Everyone push aggressively. You. I'm going to create a new front line to help out over here. And we're going to try to finish them off. Oop. There you go. Go here. And you'll be fine once you arrive. Okay. Just need to take a little bit more. A little bit more. Come on. Wait, did you lose Tokyo? No, you got Tokyo still. They're just trying to separate you guys. Come on, Australia. Come on, United States. Do what you're gonna... Just just do the thing. This is where I wish I could just take over them. And just be like, hey, I'm in control now. I am in charge now. The new Mongol Empire has capitulated and I took all their stuff. Yay. That worked. Alright. Well, they don't appear to have capitulated very well. They still got some borders, but oh well. Um, it'd be nice if I could separate all these divisions, but they're completely out of supplies. How they're fighting is beyond me. I mean, I've got very low organization, but at least I've got some supplies to work with. Oh, well. Okay, United States, keep pushing if you want, but it's all about this, man. Don't lose Tokyo. Oh, no. Don't lose it. United States, do something! Do something! One of the frustrating things about naval, um... Naval invasions and the AI, it's not always as intelligent as you kind of want it to be. Oh, well. You got more resistance. Who's resisting me? Ah! You're resisting me. No! Stop it. I'm gonna go throughout all of Italy. How's that sound? Wait. There you go. Doop, 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 doop. Okay, and you know what? Stop doing some of this. This is why we had the horsies somewhere else, right? So. Stop doing all of these. I think we're going to be okay. There you go. Just focus mostly on Italy. Minimum of divisions is 32, eh? Okay. Let's see if I can reduce that a little bit. I got 24, so... Can I get a bit more here? Come on. 25, 23. There we go. All right. Go to Italy. Italy. There we go. Words. What do they mean? And that'll be fine. All right, reorganized nationalist China is starting to fall. We're starting to push throughout all of China. The United States has landed some more troops. 
They are in position if you're willing to make the final push. I know that I am. I'm excited. Come on. Gosh dang it. Stop letting them get their troops together with organization and entrench. Just one more freaking victory point. One more. We're at 96%. What are we missing? We're not missing any resources. You're lying to me, game. What are you talking about? We're fine. Lies and slander, I say. Well. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is a little bit boring now, ain't it? What am I going to do? Military police is improved. Good. Better suppression. Yeah. Uh, what am I going to do? Um... I don't know. If the USA doesn't want to do anything, I think I'm just sort of stuck. Finish some research. Uh, let's work toward the field hospital upgrade. Nuclear reactors are done. We're gonna have to build some of those. Let's work toward the bomb. If the United States does nothing, I will freaking nuke them for fun. Construction. Okay, we don't need this many refineries, but whatever. Let's go for nuclear reactors. We'll place a few in our capital region, I think. It's a little slow to react, unfortunately, but what can you do? Get a bunch of nuclear reactors. And the way that this is going to work is not only do we get some benefits for having the nuclear reactors, I think. Uh, I actually don't remember exactly how the nuclear reactors work and what they do. All they do is enrich uranium. I thought they used to give you, like, um, a small production increase or something like that because they provide nuclear power, but maybe not. Either way, you start getting enriched uranium, and over time, if you get enough, you can start making nuclear bombs. The United States is pushing! Finally, it's going to happen. Ah, oh, this is going to be a short video, I think. We're going to do it. What a campaign. Pokey oh, smokes. Playing as Romania. Alternate history. That's pretty fun. We did exactly what we said we were going to do. We joined the Axis to beat down the USSR, and then we betrayed them, joined the Allies, and became a democratic nation to destroy the Axis. And very soon, any second now, in fact, I suspect, Japan will capitulate. That will be the end of the war. And all shall be well with the world. Come on. Come on, United States. I know you want to. I know you want to finish it. Come on. Why are you taking the river crossing? Just go around, buddy. Get a concave going. No? Don't feel like doing it? Okay. It's probably fine. The United States actually is doing pretty well. Look, at that. they got a lot of mechanized and stuff. Mechanized armor, and they're really good. They're like better versions of motorized. Motorized is faster, usually, at least for the beginning of the game. But once you get to maximum level... Oh, there goes China. Once you get to maximum level um, mechanized, they're just as fast as motorized, and they have much better hardness and attack value and stuff. It's just great. It's really solid. If we started off as a far more production-heavy nation, I absolutely would have gone for mechanized at some point. But we did not. Even so, uh, while I do think that there are some areas where I probably could have played this campaign a little bit better, definitely seems to have worked. How are we doing on our fronts? Okay, there goes China. Wow, this place looks ugly as sin. All right, still pushing through Manchuria and stuff. We're making our way through Japan. It says he's being aggressive, but he's not doing much, mostly because traveling through Siberia is, turns out, very difficult. Oh, come on, United States. Where'd your troops go? Where'd your troops go? Where'd your troops go? We had it. What are you, what, but I, damn it. Japan is 98% of the way, and the United States got cold feet and stopped. Why would you do this? Freaking AI. They decided that taking over the rest of China is more important. Are you insane? Fine. And Menkukuo, or whatever, has capitulated. Guys, one victory point. One victory point. That's all I'm asking. Take Kochi if you don't want to take that. It's fine. Anything. Anything will win. Can I land some troops? I don't think so. But... Maybe. Tank divisions. Can you go here? No? Okay. It's fine. Um, I didn't want to anyway. Go to, uh, 
What do I got a port? Here? Here. Let's abandon your orders. Okay. All of this is meaningless garbage. They can handle the rest of that. So we're going to take... Well, okay. Problem, of course, of using tanks is they're heavy. So it's very difficult to use a naval invasion with them. But we'll give it a shot. Land all around here. Can you do that? No. I don't understand. What do you mean this is not a valid province for invasion? Please move over the mouse curver cursor. What? I don't get it. As far as I can tell, this ought to be fine. It really should be. Why can I not assign anything? Fine. Um, cancel all of that. Establish borders on, let's say... Here. Go here. Okay. Australia's almost in position to take care of them. Just somebody? Anybody? This is the least fun part of the game, because everything just runs like crap. Okay, do we want tactical bomber? No. Ground support? Maybe. Air superiority. Uh, let's go for ground support in this case. We're doing fine on air superiority. What did the United States do? Why did they leave? It doesn't make any sense to me. It really does not. Okay. These guys are in position. Go. And be aggressive about it. Come on. There you go. You're being aggressive. You're being aggressive. Everyone be aggressive. But until I'm able to take this down, I don't know what to do. This is so stupid. This is so outrageously stupid to me. Like, what the crap, though, for real. Let's take a look at the uh, allies' plans. So I got a lot of divisions set up here for Australia. 70 divisions? Holy crap. The United States is planning on sending a ton of troops, but they keep recalculating and doing nothing with them. But this is what they say that they're going to do. Man, what a crazy set of battle plans this all is. This is ridiculous. Huh. Let's go ahead and turn that off. It's distracting me. <sighs> okay. Well, since this is boring and there's nothing else to look at, I'm just going to zoom forward. Uh, well, wait. You know what? I take that back. Australia is making their push. I was about to say, let's zoom forward until they're until we're uh, actually, like, ready to be done. But Australia's going for it. Oh, thank God. Australia. Australia, I love you. You are my favorite country. Well done. They're going to take Nagoya, and that's going to be it. That's the long pause, wasn't it? No? Maybe. Wait. Wait until the end of the day. Japan has capitulated. The war is over. The Allies win. Great news, we say. Holy crud. Holy crud. Okay. I... <laughs> what the crap? I have 5,000 war score. Why? Oh my god. Alright, I'm just gonna take Albania. Heck yeah, I'll be good. Um, I'll just take over some of Slovakia too. Why not? Sure, a bit of border gore, but that's probably fine. We'll grab some of this stuff. That'll be good too. Uh, just start working our way down Italy because I can. That's fine too. Um, I kind of wonder if I should make, like, Germany a puppet or something. German Reich? Change government. Make them see democracy. There you go. There you go. But can I puppet them? That's my question. Okay, that's 3,000 points. Um, we'll take the rest of this. Work our way up the coast. So that hopefully no one feels tempted to take any of it. I'll go ahead and fill these borders in. Oh, that's too much. Okay, never mind. Uh, a little bit less. Huh. Okay. Um, I guess I don't really care if they change governments. I think I'd just rather... I'd rather just grow and be big and strong, honestly. So yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to take all that. Uh, Poland's gonna look a little ugly in the middle of me, but oh well. 
Grab all this. Grab all of this. Finish up these borders. Dupe, 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 dupe. Nope, that's too much. Okay, that's one turn. Done. Pass, pass, pass. This. Finish up these for the sake of the border gore. There we go. Don't want any of this to be a thing anymore. Okay. Uh, we'll work our way down Italy a little bit more. Take over Tuscany. Italy exists, but whatever. I'll take most of their stuff. Let's take some of this. Take over this. My god, we can do so much. Okay, we'll stop here, I think, with that. Grab that. Grab Sardinia. I'm going to go ahead and grab some of uh, Africa, because we want to be a colonial power now. Imperialism. Ah, A little shy. Oh, well, it's fine. End turn. Pass, pass, take. What's all this? Uh, sure, I'll take some of that. Sure, why not? Um, hi, Japan. I'm going to work my way over here now. Because I can. Grab all of that. And all of this, too. And all of this. And this. And this. And this. Everything here. Mine. Mine. Everything is mine. Screw you, Japan. I win. Okay, that's too much. There we go. And turn. Pass, pass, pass. Take. All of this. All of this. It doesn't matter. I'm ending the campaign here, so I could just take nothing. But I'm pretty confident that would upset some people in the comment section, and frankly, it would upset me a little bit too. All right, and that. Pass, pass, pass. Pass, pass. Can I just take over Japan? Sure, why not? Hi, Japan. You're mine. Taking all of this now. Thank you. Nice playing. And turn, uh, Siamese Empire. Nothing. Nationalist Spain, nothing. German Reich. Wait. Okay, hang on. There's more we can do. No one's taking over the rest of Germany, apparently. Alright, fine. You've tempted me. I'll take over Germany. There we go. Uh, end turn. Pass, pass, pass. Sure. I'll take over this, too. Thank you, Spain. Mine. Pass, pass. That's it. Done. Game over, everybody. We win. We took 164 states. That is Romania. If only I didn't have these stupid little vassals in my way. The border gore would look a lot better. The Soviet Union exists. Who released the communists? And why? Well, now I'm just annoyed. But oh well, it's not, I'm not, I'm not going to bother with it right now. That's it, everybody. That is Hearts of Iron 4. That is Romania. You can switch sides as much as you want, and it is pretty darn potent if and you were to ask me. Quite happy with how this campaign turned out. I am looking forward to playing more Hearts of Iron 4 in the future on this channel, probably with the Kaiserreich mod, although I am not opposed to trying at least one or two more vanilla campaigns, if that is something you guys are interested in. But at least for now, I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment with your suggestions, hit subscribe and notify, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>